What's up folks, welcome to Lake of the Ozarks and another episode of the 10 Horse Mountain YouTube channel. We are doing a little half day practice for the Marie Terrell Memorial Tournament. It used to be the Turkey, Bay, Turkey Day, Turkey Bowl, something like that. I'm out here with my bro, M Squared. And uh, man, beautiful fall day. Had some weather push through last night, but the sun is out. Got a little bit of wind on the lake and it is nice out here. It's like mid forties, I'm overdressed. So we're gonna put this boat up on pads, see if we can figure something out. We got a few hours, like four hours of fishing probably. Um, kind of already know what we're gonna do. It's probably gonna be something with a jig um, But anyway, it's good to get our lines wet and kind of stretch out and relax. So here we go Keeper? Secondary point. He was right up on that rock. I got one tied on. I haven't picked it up yet. We just got out here. Plus three on this jig already. So. How's crappie fishing? Excellent. There he is. Yeah, little guy. spot yeah that water's clear it's like four foot of visibility at least little guy On them little ones. Looks like you've been doing pretty good. That sounds by the way he's sawing over there. I know, man. I'm on the wrong fish. Since we only had a few hours to practice for this tournament, we decided to pick a cove. We started out on the main lake points, dabbled around out there for a little bit, and then worked our way back into the coves. Just trying to figure out what part of the coves these bash were using. It seemed like the secondary points were key. Each one that we hit, we got a bite or we caught a fish off of it. As far as the docks, the backs of the docks seemed to be holding most of the fish. Mike was fishing a jewel heavy cover finesse jig. That's his go-to jig. I was throwing the A-Rig around and I caught a couple baby fish on the A-Rig, but it just didn't seem to be the deal. I also kept a shaky head in my hand and got several bites on the shaky head. Can't fish. Oh, it's bad. Yeah. 
It had been a five pounder and it broke off. We got a lot of bites in a short period of time, so we were feeling good going into the tournament. Little did we know that things would tighten up the next day and the fish would kind of get a little case of lockjaw. How do you put this uh, other graph on like side scan? Or one of them on side scan. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Trouble getting bites. Can't find where the bagans are. Keep her spot, maybe. Spot. Yeah. A little, a little too countryish for us, but it did sound like him a little bit. I mean, I don't know. I don't know Rush at all. I know what's on the radio, and that's it. Still no keepers. Eh, close. Yeah, it might be. Definitely on a jig. Fish I've caught today. An egg. Yeah. Keeper spot. He's suspended up underneath there. Yeah, it's a keeper for sure. There you go, folks. A little spotty. Those are fun. Hey, we got some fish. We're catching some fish. Just got to work on getting some bigger fish. 
So tomorrow's tournament day. Hopefully, we can catch about 20 pounds and look pretty good. If not, we're going to have fun. We will see you in the morning.